arithmetic series is the sum of the terms in an arithmetic sequence. What does sum mean? We add it all up. So an arithmetic sequence, an example could be one, two, three, dot, 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 up to 100. An arithmetic series would be one plus two, plus three, plus dot, 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 plus 100. Is that what you're doing with the mental math question? You're on to me. Ah. What's the difference between a series and a sequence? Um. Series has the plus signs. So some of the questions on the test or the quiz might say, for example, give an example of an arithmetic series. Give an example of an arithmetic sequence. Make sure you're paying attention to that last word. If it's a sequence, there's no plus signs, there's just commas. If it's a series, there's plus signs. To determine the sum of an arithmetic series, we use the formula. Capital SN, S standing for sum. is n divided by 2, open bracket, t1 plus tn, close bracket. Is it on your formula sheet? What I really meant was grab your formula sheet and look and see if you can find it. Is it there? Where is it? Describe it. it. Under the last one. So make a note of the notes on formula sheet or don't memorize or whatever you need to remind yourself it is on there. Where does the formula come from? Well, let's go back. How did Gauss figure out the first hundred digits of the, our numeric system? How did he figure out the sum? He took 1 plus 100, which is T1 plus Tn. And then how many pairs are there if there's 100 numbers? That's your n divided by 2. So that's all it comes from. It's just what Gauss did. Add the first and the last divided by the number of pairs. Nice. So one example one is a straightforward standard kind of question. Find S30 of the series negative 1 plus 3 plus 8 plus 13 dot, 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 dot. I was going to say bless you, but that was a hiccup. I don't know what to say for a hiccup. So we're looking for the sum of the first 30 terms. And again, we could do it the long way and list out all the 30 terms and then add them all up, but that's going to take too long. So we have a formula that says n divided by 2, t1 plus tn. n has to be 30 because it matches the little n in the formula. So 30 divided by 2. t1 is? negative 2, uh, Tn. It would be T30. Do we have T30? Okay, so we're done. We can't do this question. Too bad. What? 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 Do we have a formula to find a specific term in an arithmetic sequence? Yes. Yes. What is that formula? Tn equals T1 minus, or plus N minus 1. Okay, so before we can find the sum, we actually have to go ahead and find T30. So that's just what we did on Friday. T1 is? N. D. 5. Where does 5 come from? Yep, take any term, subtract the one before. So 13 minus 8. 8 minus 3. 3 minus minus 2, they're all 5. Okay, bed mass says we do what first? Okay, I'm going to cheat, just write it above, 29. 29 times 5, if you can't do that, you can do 30 times 5, which is just 3 times 5 with a 0. So what's 30 times 5? Not a trick question. What's 30 times 5? 150, and then subtract 5 to go back to 29 plus 5. And then minus 2. Offer of 143, confirm, and that's what we're going to stick in here.
Okay, so typically that will be the situation is you've got to find Tn before you can actually find the sum. Bed mass says we do what first? Brackets. Offer of 141. Confirm. Now we have a division and we have a multiplication. What comes first? Division, division because? Because it's the first. Remember D and M, it's whatever happens to come first, left, and right. So I'm going to do this division first and I'm just going to write it on top. 30 divided by 2. <coughs> this one you might need your calc for. Up to you. So 15 times 141. Five zero, sorry? 15. 2,115. Did I write that down correctly? Yep. Confirmation? Yep. What did we just find? What is this? And what does that mean? S30. So it's the negative 2 plus 3 plus 8 plus 15 all the way up to the 30th term. And we'll do an example later on of why do we need to know the sum. Number 2. Okay, so we're told T1 is 5.5, D we're told is negative 2.5, and we want S30 again. Again, it's a lefty thing to list. If you're right, that probably means nothing to you. Well, just judging from what you saw in the last example, what are we probably going to have to find first? So to do S30, we're going to need T30. Okay, so let's start with the formula for T30. Don't everyone shut at once. I'll get all confused. Okay, only formula we had up till today. Do we have T1? What is it? Do we have N? What is it? And let's just minus one right away and just do it all in one step. 29. Do we have D? Okay, if your brain didn't like that subtraction in the first step, feel free to do it in two steps. Now, because there's decimals, we're going to use our calculator anyway, so just throw this whole thing in. Don't bother doing the multiplication, then the addition. Just throw it in exactly what you see. Negative 67, I heard. Yeah. Confirmation. Yep. Okay, so I'm just going to mark a 1 because that's usually step 1 is you have to find the term before you can find the sum. Step 2 is actually going to be able to find the sum of the first 30 terms. Formula is? Just the formula first. Don't put anything in yet. I just want just what the letters and stuff are. You got it. N is? T1? Tn? Shoved in there. Again, because you're going to throw this into your calc, just do it all in once. You can either do the 30 divided by 2, or if your brain sees that as 15 right away, put it in. Then follow with the stuff in brackets. So don't feel you need to do it all step by step if you're using your calc anyway. Offer of negative 9, 22.5. Looking for confirmation. Confirmation. Questions so far? Read example three. Now just turn and talk. So turn to someone around and I want you to talk about what's the difference between example three versus one and two. 
So how is three different? focus back. It looks the closest to number one. They look very similar. What's the difference? We don't know the S of something. There's more words. Yes. What do we not know in three? What we're looking for. Yes. More specific, Natasha. How many terms are there? How many terms are there? So we don't know if this is a sum to the 18th, the 19th, the 20th. We don't know how many terms there are. Can we find the number of terms? Yeah, we did this last time. So let's use the TN formula. And how can this help us find the number of terms? Do we have TN, which is the last term if it's not otherwise specified? So do we have the last term? Okay, what, what's its value? Do we have the first term? Do we have N? No. Do we have D? Okay, what do you want to do first with this one? Okay, how do you want to get N by itself? Okay, so again, if your brain likes to see that three in front, this is just like the example we did Friday, then throw it in front, because sometimes that's a little bit easier to see the distribution. If your brain doesn't need it, don't do it. Collecting the like terms, we get 39 equals 3n plus 3. How do we get rid of the 3? Subtract 3, so we get 36 equals 3n. How do we isolate n? So n equals. There's a little tip I told you Friday about whenever you're finding n. Who can remember the little tip? It has to be a whole number. So if you don't get a whole number, what do you know? You've done something wrong. So n has to be a whole number. Well, how does that help us? Yeah, so now we're looking for s 12, because we know that there's 12 um, terms in the sequence. So we know 12 divided by 2 starts off the formula. What comes next? Which is plus. So it's the 12th term, but what's its value? 39 from the question. Hey, throw it into your calculator. Two hundred and seventy with a question mark kind of at the end. That sounds confirmed over here. Very unenthusiastic confirmed, but I'll take it. Question so far. What was different in this example than the other two? We had to find n. So next to the example in your note, you may just want to write a note, had to find n. So when you see one like that in the homework, you've got one to refer back to. Same thing with number four. Read it over, then turn and talk. So if you didn't talk last time, you talk this time. Discuss what's different about four. Focus back. How's this one different? So how many terms? That's like three, though. We have to find n in number three. We have to find n in this one. What's different between four and three? High five. This is the first one that gives us the sum and asks us to find something else. So all the other three, we were finding the sum, the sum, the sum. This time, they give us the sum. 
even if you don't know how to do the question, the word sum tells you what formula you're going to start with. Okay, so what's the SN formula? There's a half mark even if you don't know what to do with it. Second half mark is going to come just from substituting in. So even if you don't know how to solve it, let's put some numbers in. Do we have SN? Are we given a sum? Yes. So this time we're going to fill in the left instead of filling in everything on the right. Do we have N? Do we know how many terms there are? No. Do we have T1? Do we have TN, which is the last term unless otherwise specified? Do we have enough to solve the, for the what the question asks? Okay, so what do you want to do first? Okay, how do you want to get in by itself? Brackets first because of bed mass. Offer in a correction to negative 85. Confirm. Okay, now what would you like to do? Well, we're not actually subtracting it here. What's the operation because of the brackets? It's multiplying. I would probably deal with the two next, but it doesn't really matter. But my brain goes there first because I don't like fractions. And so I say to myself, how do you get rid of a division by two? What's the opposite of dividing by two? So I would multiply it up to get rid of the two. Again, that doesn't have to be the next step. You can go with the 85 first. So negative 850 times two. Offer of negative seven, or 1,700. Now what's left, my brain likes to put the negative 85 in front because I like seeing it as a coefficient. So if your brain doesn't care, you can leave it in brackets behind. If you like it in front, put it in front. To me, in front, it's a little bit easier to see it's not a subtraction. So how do we get rid of a multiplication by negative 85? Divide by negative 85. And this is where we cross our fingers and hope we get a whole number because we're finding n. Whoo! What do we know if we did not get a whole number right there? We've done something wrong because n has to be a whole number. Okay, so here's an example when you're given sn, asked to find n. So given sn in this question. Last one for today, word problem. But word problems don't scare us, no. What are the two steps to a word problem? So just read to read. This is like in the book, a little paragraph. Don't overthink it. Just read it. Get the context. What did you get out of the read to read? What's it about? So that would actually be already thinking. You're, you're not even that far yet. Just what did you read from this? Don't overthink on the first time. What's it about? An iPad. Something about your grandparents. And maybe something about money. Okay, so what do we assume from that? We probably owe our grandparents money. Now let's read to understand. So what's the key word in the very first sentence? Keywords, uh, I should say. Oh, you're ahead of me. I'm just on the first sentence. Do we care if it's your grandparents? Not in the math world, we don't care. Do we even care what you bought? No, we don't. We just care that there's some money involved. Okay, the second sentence. Okay, repay. 25 in the first month. And so already your brain should probably see it's something to do with a sequence or series because we have first, second, third. Okay, the last sentence. Close your eyes, and if I can see the whites, they're not closed. I'm going to repeat you back the words that we highlighted. You tell me if it's enough to answer the question. So close your eyes. Loaned, repay 25 in the first month, 30 in the second, 35 in the third, and so on. Repaying one year, how much? Do you think that's enough to answer? Okay, let's go to. Lefties. 
What's going to work with your head is to actually write this out as a sequence or a series because it's how your brain likes to th see things in order. So this is 25 plus plus. Righties, that probably doesn't work so much for you, but it's a trick. We're told n, it's hidden in words, but we know how many terms there are. Why does it have to be 12? Because it's a year. So even though that's hidden, we know that it's there. What are we trying to find? OK, now is that a TN or an SN? And that's going to be the hardest thing with these questions. Are we looking for the amount you're paying them in December or the amount you're paying them over all 12 months? then that's a sum because we need to account for every single month. Before we can do an SN, we have to make sure we have TN. Do we have the 12th month or how much we're paying in December? So this is really just like question one or two. We've got to start with TN first, and then we'll use TN to find SN. Uh, whoops, T1 plus N minus 1 times D. T1 is? N is? Let's do minus 1 right away. And D times 5. Something like this we would expect you to be able to do without a calculator. So this is about the level of a calculation we're going to expect on the exam. So 5 times 11 plus 25. Okay, step 2 is finding SN. N divided by 2. T1 plus TN. We're looking for S12 for the whole year. 12 divided by 2, if you want to right away go to 6, great. If you want to write it as 12 divided by 2, that's fine as well. T1 is? And TN. This would be out of the range of what we would expect without a calculator. So a calculation like this, you'd be able to have your calculator for it. Offer of 630? Units, because it's a word problem. So just making a note, don't forget your units. It's an expensive iPad. Let's hope that's a new one. Questions so far? Show me your thumb. I'm getting sequences or series. 